Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of this course by explaining what you will be able to do after taking these classes. You could think of this video as the statement of what the purpose of the course is. And the idea is actually very simple. After finishing this course, you will be able to analyze bodies in equilibrium, trusses, frames, and simple machines. And by analyze, I mean that you will be able, you will be able to do two things. Uh, first, you will be able to find external forces that keep the object of analysis in equilibrium. And second, you will be able to find internal forces within the elements that make up the object of your analysis. The elements that make up the structure, the structure that you are analyzing. Let's see some examples. Here you see um, some bodies in equilibrium. Well, by the end of this course, you will be able to find these red forces which are the forces that keep these bodies in equilibrium. Now you see here some trusses as they look in the real life. Now here you see some models of the trusses as they would look on paper. And here you see these trusses as they will appear on your paper when you will be finding the external forces that keep them in equilibrium or that we call reaction at the supports, the red arrows. And here, you will be able to find the internal forces or forces acting inside every element. Again, the red arrows that you see up here. You will be able to analyze also simple machines, like the ones you see here. Meaning that you will be able to find the internal forces within the machine, like those in black in the lower picture. These are the forces that maintain all the pieces together and make the machine work. Now we have frames. You will be able to analyze frames also, like the one shown here. You will be able to find reactions, the red arrows, and internal forces on the elements. For beams, in particular, you will be able to find the internal forces all along the length of the beams. These internal forces are, are called shear and moment. And you will find their value all along the whole length of the element. What you are finding uh, is called shear diagram in red and moment diagram in blue. As you see, we will be working all the time with forces. Therefore, during the first few classes, we will be reviewing our knowledge about how to manipulate and operate forces, which will be basically done by remembering the ways we manipulate vectors. So we will be reviewing our very basic vector manipulation techniques, which in turn requires to review our lessons on trigonometry. It will be of the most importance of the most importance that we master our skills using sines, cosines, tangents, the law of sines, the law of cosines, and manipulation of angles. And one tool that is probably the most valuable tool of all, I have no words to express how valuable this tool will be, not only for this class, but for your whole engineering career, Probably the most important, the free body diagram. The free body diagram will be used all the time during these classes. And as I said, you will be using it during your whole engineering career. And the reason is that a well-developed free body diagram is the basis for any successful equilibrium analysis. Um, and at the end of this course, during the last few classes, I'm going to give you as a bonus a couple of uh, other tools that will be very useful for you in many, many fields of your career. You will learn how to calculate centroids, centers of gravity, and moments of inertia. 
That's all I wanted to tell you today. I want to encourage you to keep these ideas in mind so you can know all the time um, where you are going and what is what you want to accomplish. Thank you very much for watching.